Think Tank waterless toilets have numerous advantages over existing waterless and composting toilets. They are virtually airtight under normal operating conditions. They draw the ventilation air from outside. In contrast to other toilets which draw the ventilation air from the bathroom. With other toilets, you are rapidly blowing expensively heated or cooled air outside. Not so with the think tank. This can save a great deal of money over time, is more efficient and environmentally friendly. The think tank toilet uses a soft rubber gasket mounted in the underside of the lid. When the lid is closed, this gasket is pushed into the bowl and compresses, creating an airtight seal. The think tank toilet is much easier to clean. Most waterless and composting toilets have a large bowl with a small trap door for the solid waste. A mess can result. The think tank waterless toilet utilizes a large chute with vertical walls. It's harder to make a mess. It needs much less cleaning. The unique patented trap door design allows men to stand when urinating in contrast to other toilets where men must sit. The trap door stays closed unless you are going number two. When it is closed, it is impossible for urine to end up in the solids bin, which can be a big problem with other toilets. Each time the trap door is opened and closed, this arm moves backwards and forwards. This advances the solid waste container very slightly each time. The reason for this is for the solid waste to be more evenly distributed inside the container, increasing capacity and reducing the frequency of emptying. The solid waste container is shown here without a compostable bag for clarity. When using the toilet, the container will be lined with a compostable bag, which makes emptying clean and easy. Inexpensive, generic compostable bags are used inside the think tank toilet. There is no need to buy expensive, proprietary bags. Urine exits the toilet at the rear from this black fitting, which is seven inches high. This drain connects to standard one inch PVC pipe with a supplied rubber connector. And this can be drained to the location of your choosing, either a French drain, a gray water system, or a tank. It eliminates the need for a urine bottle which has to be emptied frequently and is inconvenient. This is the fan inside the think tank toilet. It is the best fan available. These fans have exceptionally high output, powerful static pressure, which is the force behind the air, are extremely quiet, and have an incredibly long lifespan. They are rated at 150,000 hours. The fan is also easy to remove and reinstall. When the time comes, for a fan to be replaced, anyone can do it easily with basic hand tools. Most people ventilate their toilets through the wall, directly behind the toilet. Two 90 degree elbows are also included in case you need to vent through the roof, out the side, or down through the floor. Rather than use flimsy hinges as commonly seen on other composting and waterless toilets, the think tank uses solid stainless steel pins. The pins are inserted through the midsection and the base. A similar shorter pin fits between the seat and the lid. It's incredibly strong and virtually indestructible. All metal parts are marine grade stainless steel. Only the best possible materials are used in the think tank toilet. The toilet is incredibly strong. The shell is rotationally molded like a whitewater kayak. This is the best and strongest way to make something like this in plastic. It's rated at 350 pounds plus. Definitely big guy approved.